फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कोल डेली चार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉप टू बॉटम बोथ थिंग आर बैक स्पेशली ऑन फ्राइडे लास्ट वीक सेम वार इज बैक अगेन एंड फेड मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी लास्ट वीक एफ ओ एम सी मिनट पी डी एफ एंड न्यू कमेंट फ्रॉम एफ ओ एम सी मेंबर लास्ट वीक थ्री कंट्री चाइना इंडिया रशिया यू एस ए हैव न्यू सेंक्शन ऑन थ्री कंट्री एंड बिटवीन टाइमिंग ऑफ बोथ न्यूज एफ ओ एम सी मेंबर वर हॉकिस दे आर सेंग रेड कट विल हैपन बट नॉट सून एंड यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस टॉप दिसंबर मंथ लास्ट ईयर टाइमिंग इज शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम जनवरी टू अल्टीमेटली जून मंथ सो बिफोर बाइडन अनाउंस न्यू सेंक्शन एफ ओ एम सी मेंबर आर क्लियरली हॉकिस एंड रीजन बिहाइंड यू नो दो सी पी आई पी पी आई एंड एन एफ पी नंबर दिस वीक यू हैव अगेन बिग न्यूज जी डी पी बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट विल बी पी सी ई नंबर दिस वीक इफ सेम लाइक सी पी आई इफ पी सी कम हायर देन एक्सपेक्टेड नंबर देन प्लस दैट ओल्ड रसिया वॉर दैट थिंग वेरी वेट फॉर गोल्ड बिकॉज अगेन फेड विल बी हॉकिस पी सी ई इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑन क्वार्टरली बेसिस इट इज बिलो टू परसेंट ऑफ फेड टारगेट so if number goes below 2% on quarterly or yearly basis then tone can change instantly this week you have consumer sentiment this week on friday and inflation expectation sentiment will fly because stock are flying but inflation expectation this new war news especially from putin that will only increase inflation expectation not just higher cpi number but higher inflation expectation number both are bad thing for fed expectation number goes up and down it does not matter but ultimately how market react to new war news from biden after 30 year of deflation japan have inflation at the same time so they cannot print money like past so if they cut interest rate back to zero and start qe which everyone is waiting that's why people are blindly buying gold near 2000 dollar then their deflation will turn into permanent inflation and they cannot do without china and india support so that biden list of new sanction is clearly inflationary long term and it is also changing market sentiment instantly short term if biden does not stop war with china india russia and deflation permanently shift to inflation mode then fed do hike or cut it does not matter inflation will stay up and in current market condition if they cut interest rate then inflation will fly again so until fair say clearly that we are losing control on inflation until we don't do something they cannot fix inflation we are not bullish on gold i am saying again same like last week as long as gold trading below 2060 level it is bearish so you have clear static horizontal resistance zone near 2060 level and from this top to bottom your 50% retracement is complete near 2036 level so this entire area is your resistance zone until fed panic on biden policy gold will stay down if fed panic then gold can start flying and from 2000 dollar you can expect 3000 dollar next gold price so no change in resistance 2060 but support 1980 So if you compare Biden and Powell both side by side then all of those BRICS and de-dollarization news all of them are back again since Friday but if you see FOMC minute PDF then they have said clearly no early rate cut but main thing is QT it is still happening and it will continue 
till next FOMC meeting. And now they are giving clear warning about that financial condition index. When gold was flying, final condition index were collapsing. And if you think when you have latest war news, stock trading at all time high and everyone is waiting return back to 0% and QE monetary policy. After all of those news, if you still think Fed final condition index will collapse again, then you can easily expect breakout of 2060 and retest of $3,000 after new news on Friday. But Fed is again varies and is still varies. So daily chart, you have clear static horizontal resistance, few retracement complete and no support before 1980. Weekly chart 2009 is a big static support level. You can see multiple weekly candlesticks are showing instant rejection below 2009. If you think Fed will panic this week on new war news, then gold is ready to fly $3,000 and you can do FOMO buying on Monday market open. And if Fed stay hawkish, then replace all the inflation news this week with new war news. Ultimately, big action you can expect only on GDP news. Because China FDI stock both collapsing while USA and now Japan both stock market are now making all time high. If Fed does not panic this week, then gold will not stay above $2,009. And after 2009, there is only one big static support near 1940. So according to weekly chart, you have only three level 3000, 2009 and 1940. So monthly chart, this is the last week of month and we ready what will happen in next March month. Next month candle will break out this ripple top or one more month gold trading below 2080. Because right now investors are not buying gold. They are mad about mining stock. If you see GLD then bullion is collapsing since 2020. If you see mining stocks like Newmont, now hedge funds are bullish on that biggest stock. So either those collapsing stock are wrong or either gold is wrong about $2,000. Because next month, if this stock does not break out, then those mining stock are dead. Even if big hedge funds are bullish on mining stock. And if gold goes down more below $2,000, let's say, more bearish 1900 then they will buy mining stock more and reason behind this belief that gold will permanently break out this 2080 resistance level one day because same like fed ben bernanke one day said soft landing but in the end they get hard landing back to daily chart still that trend line you can say retest it is not invalid still after breakout price is testing trend line. If you see H4 chart, then 2014 big static horizontal support level. And this H4 trend line after the test, you have closing above the trend line just because of widen sanction news. But from this top to bottom, retracement complete, last resistance 2060. And if Fed stay hawkish after those bad news, then gold will go down again. So as long as price trading below 2060, we are bearish. And for this level to break out, gold to fly $3,000. Until Fed panic on bar, it is not going $3,000.